Joe's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, today, I got a really good video for you. You might say it is just a little prehistoric. Let's get started. All right, so this is the first real look at the Delusional Designs 4x4 plasma table accompanied with the HTP Microcut 875SC. And I've had this machine for a little over three months now and it is performed flawlessly. I've made hundreds and hundreds of cuts with it and there has not been one mistake yet. And I've downloaded some clip art here and I just wanted to show you guys how well and how clean uh, this machine cuts. There's all kinds of different angles here, all kinds of different parts we're cutting out. Uh, this is 11 gauge material and I'm trying to give you a lot of different angles. You can see how perfectly clean it cuts. Uh, just every piece that you're able to lift out with your fingers. There's really none that, that, that stick in there. And here's a close-up shot right here and you can just see the lines now clean and I've also provided an overhead right here of all the different crazy angles and you can just see the machine just cuts everything perfectly. <laughs> After welding the feet on, I realized that the dinosaur wouldn't stand up on its own and I needed to make some adjustments, so I had to cut the feet off. So using the Walter 18 volt zip cutter, I uh, made short order of that. And then I wanted to finish it in a certain way. I, I thought maybe a rust finish would be good, so I thought it would be interesting to set it outside and set the time lapse camera on it and use some vinegar and water and just put multiple coats on during this process. It uh, let it roll for about 10, 15 hours, something like that. And um, I ended up uh, getting the finish that we were looking for. Uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my website at jimbosgarage.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.